This is Pranav Goa Thakurta from Edu TV. Today is the 20th of April 2020. We have with us Dr. Suri, Dr. R.K. Suri. He's an advisor and mentor with Talk to Angel. Sir, you have got so much of experience, and this is a historic thing. No one has faced it ever, this kind of a crisis. What will be your advice for the students who are facing the closure of schools and universities? Thank you, Pranay. Uh, the first and foremost thing I would uh, suggest uh, the students to upgrade their knowledge and skills and acquire whatever is happening in the technology framework, learn the basic technology framework and get connected to the world. Social distancing doesn't mean that you are cutting off yourself from the world. As a result, people haven't heard too much about the Zoom in the last three years before. Correct. And as a, as a matter of fact, this has come as a very handy for many of the academicians who are now offering the online learning to the children. I remember of one of the faculty with whom I have been advising. She's a French teacher and she was working with GEMS school at Dubai, where I was a uh, director in that company. That teacher was used to teach 15 students. Okay. And maximum she used to have a class of 26. Now with the lockdown in France, in the Paris, which she repatriated after completing her tenure, I'm still in touch with her. Now she runs a classroom online. For the first time, she has started a classroom online with the small kids where the curriculum is being shared with the parents. So right from teaching the child A, B, C, D, her husband, her husband is in the entertainment industry and broadcasting industry. So she makes her curriculum in such a manner and it's a joyful learning. She faces the TV and teaches A to Z in a very fantastic way. Good. And as a result, she has now 750 children attend, having a subscription of her lecture, which he also thinks that's a phenomenon. She has been teaching only to the ton, maximum 20 children. As a result, this is the first thing which I would request that adversity should not be considered as an adversity. All threats are our opportunities. Adversities comes with blessings in this squeeze, we have to identify them, we have to work slowly and slowly and consolidate them. Rome wasn't built in a day. Correct. That's a common proverb. You have to work hard, you have to work systematically and achieve your small, small goals.